For family-based green cards processing, this is our new weekly video for my 130 or petition for alien relative processing timeline series. In this video, we will analyze the USCIS I-130 form or petition for alien relative processing timelines as of December 3, 2022. USCIS processes I-130 petitions at its California, Nebraska, Texas, Vermont, and Potomac service centers. We will discuss the processing timelines for each I-130 form application type across the USCIS service centers. This is a sudden feature of the questions to see how best we can help you out your process. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Now, let's get into the video. USCIS accepts the following application types based on the eligible relative for I-130 petitions. Such as Number 1. Permanent resident filing for a spouse or child under 21. Number 2. U.S. citizen filing for a spouse, parent, or child under 21. Number 3. U.S. citizen filing for an unmarried son or daughter over 21. Number 4. Permanent resident filing for an unmarried son or daughter over 21. Number 5. U.S. citizen filing for a married son or daughter over 21. And number 6. U.S. citizen filing for a brother or sister. Now, Let's look at the processing time for each type of I-130 application one by one. So, first let's see the timelines for I-130 petitions related to permanent resident filing for a spouse or child under 21. As of December 3, 2022, California Service Center is estimating 25.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around October 18, 2020. Nebraska Service Center is estimating 10.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around January 18, 2022. Potomac Service Center is estimating 29 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2020. Texas Service Center is estimating 20 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2021. Vermont Service Center is estimating 30 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2020. Now, let's see the timelines for I-130 petitions related to U.S. citizen filing for a spouse, parent, or child under 21 inches. California Service Center is estimating 10.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around December 29, 2021. Nebraska Service Center is estimating 10.5 months of processing time timelines and currently processing the applications received around December 29, 2021. Potomac Service Center is estimating 12 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around December 3, 2021. Texas Service Center is estimating 11.5 months of timeline and currently processing the applications received around December 19, 2021. Vermont Service Center is estimating 16 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around August 3, 2021. Now, let's see the timelines for I-130 petitions related to U.S. citizen filing for an unmarried son or daughter over 21 inches. California Service Center is estimating 68 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2017. Nebraska Service Center is estimating 8 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2022. Potomac Service Center is estimating 29 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2020. Texas Service Center is estimating 32 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2020. Vermont Service Center is estimating 59.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around December 19, 2017. Now, let's see the timelines for I-130 petitions related to permanent resident filing for an unmarried son or daughter over 21 inches. California Service Center is estimating 64.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 19, 2017. Nebraska Service Center is estimating 52.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 19, 2018. Potomac Service Center is estimating 29 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2020. 
Texas Service Center is estimating 32 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2020. Vermont Service Center is estimating 55.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 19, 2018. Now, let's see the timelines for I-130 petitions related to U.S. citizen filing for a married son or daughter over 21 inches. California Service Center is estimating 117 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around March 3, 2013. Nebraska Service Center is estimating 104 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2014. Potomac Service Center is estimating 29 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2020. Texas Service Center is estimating 32 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2020. Vermont Service Center is estimating 59.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around December 19, 2017. Now, let's see the timelines for I-130 petitions related to U.S. citizen filing for a brother or sister. California Service Center is estimating 140.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around March 19, 2011. Nebraska Service Center is estimating 124.5 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 19, 2012. Potomac Service Center is estimating 29 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around July 3, 2020. Texas Service Center is estimating 32 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around April 3, 2020. Vermont Service Center is estimating 99 months of processing time and currently processing the applications received around September 3, 2014. I hope you guys found this video extremely helpful. If you know anybody that could benefit from this information, definitely make sure to share this video with them. We are all about empowering you with knowledge. So the more people that can benefit from this video, the more people will want watching this video. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs icon. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe and hit on the notification bell for more immigration updates. Bye!